Kevin's passion for a while. She just so gung ho about doing fun things and just living life in the present and finding like, the beauty in life. There's a thousand million things I love about this man, but like he can make me laugh in any mood. Whatever I say, if I'm in a bad mood and I say something, he always says something funny and it just always diffuses the situation. I mean, um, yeah, I love that about him. I planned on proposing at around Christmas time because it's Caitlin's favorite time of year and I had Caitlin's mom, Molly, help me out trying to find a spot just because we we're going up to her hometown Batavia for Christmas to spend time with her family. And he knew Christmas is my favorite holiday and it was snowing and he made it to my parents and my best friends were there. She found this really cool little park that's got they have like all these little like mini Christmas trees set up that they decorate with lights and then they had a big one that um, in like a, in a pavilion. We were walking kind of through like Christmas trees and he had set up like this giant Christmas tree and helped decorate it and lights and ornaments and all this stuff and had a photographer there. We got out there and the rain turned into snow right as we were walking up and um, we walked up to the tree and she said she knew something was up and um, got down on one knee and told her how much I loved her and how amazing she was and how much she meant to me and she said yes. It was perfect. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Well, on behalf of the Bahadur Sings and the Mullins, welcome to this special event. Caitlin and Devin believe, as many of us uh, do here, that this is a divine, sacred event. Uh, so in light of that, let's start with a prayer. Holy God in heaven, we acknowledge you have created all things. We praise you for creating Devin and Caitlin and for bringing them together. We ask that your spirit be in this place and that we might feel your presence today. We're so thankful so many of Caitlin and Devin's family and friends can be here to witness the ceremony and to share in their joy. From this day forward, let your spirit dwell in Caitlin and Devin to reflect your love to one another, the love you showed us in Jesus Christ. It's in his name we pray. Amen. 
If love were as simple as making the right choice, the world would be a much better place. No, instead of a choice, you need, as, as we all do, a story outside of yourselves that molds you and trains you to love. There's no better story in which to daily immerse yourselves than that of Jesus. Today you're promising to make each other your best friends for the rest of your lives. When difficulties arise through your lifelong best friendship, you will conquer them by living out the story of Jesus. Again, the cool part is you won't just be conquerors, you will truly be more than conquerors. Uh, see, every time you live in love towards each other, two miracles happen. First, God shows up. God is love. Devin, every time you show Caitlin love, God's there. Caitlin, every time you show Devin love, God's there. The author of the universe makes himself present right there, next to you, within you. And God doesn't just become present. The second miracle is that he becomes known. Not, but not just known by anyone, but known by you. You know God when you love. Love will carry you through this journey one step at a time, not only by keeping ground beneath your feet, but by lifting you up to experiences of the divine through your self-sacrificing love for each other. Caitlin noticed the ease with which you carried yourself, how you intentionally showed her love, your sensitive side, your patience, and how she felt about herself when she was with you. She felt soft, strong, loved, beautiful, valued, safe, and prioritized. You were clearly crazy about her, and you realized it when you were at one of your friend's weddings. You were constantly wanting to sneak away to either FaceTime or call Caitlin. Her smile, her ability to live life in the moment, and her passion to help others achieve their goals prompted you to enlist the help of our mom and our brother uh, to propose to her along the Fox River in our hometown of Batavia, Illinois on Christmas Eve Eve 2016. As you guys start your life together, you're committed to keeping God at the center of your family, always working hard and communicating openly and honestly with each other. And in the spirit of open and honest communication, uh, you guys have written your own vows. So, uh, Caitlin, here's yours. Caitlin, what do you promise Devin? I've heard the saying, love is a choice. I never understood what that meant until you. The way you choose me and, continu and continue to choose me is an act, is, <laughs> is a love I've never known. Your words are intentional and every action you take deepens our love into unwavering roots. My edges have never been soft. That God did not give me the gift of ease, but he gave me the gift of determination. And the moment I landed in the soft spot that is your presence, I knew my fight was over. A forgiver and a challenger, an unmovable mountain, and an unruly river. You have taken my rough edges and made them round, and there is no one who knows me as completely as you. There isn't a person in the world that loves me so deeply, I feel it in my spirit. So today, in front of our family and friends, I want to acknowledge the love we share. I promise to celebrate with you in the good times and pray with you in the hard times. I promise to honor our commitment to one another just as God honors his commitment to the church. I promise to always dance with you in the kitchen and make Nora embarrassed. I promise to always ask for a bite even when I say I'm not hungry. I promise to watch every Star Wars, Marvel, and Lord of the Rings movie with you. I promise to always give in to your, the koala snuggles. I promise to protect your heart the way you protect mine. <laughs> I promise to always turn up the volume during the speaking parts and turn it down during the action scenes. <laughs> and I promise to cherish our love, this per perfect, messy design that God gave us. First Corinthians says, And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. I love you today, and I will continue loving you into all of our tomorrows. 
I promise to love and support you in everything that you do. I promise to put your needs before mine. I promise to love you no matter the season of our life. I promise to always love you for the amazing person that you are. I promise to always be kind and loving to you. I promise to be responsible while playing soccer, to avoid being getting hurt again, and not breaking my ankle. I fell in love with you, with your fire pers fiery personality, your smile, and your love of life. And I promise to always cherish that. I w you make me want to be the best, best person that I can be possibly be. Every day that I'm with you, I fall more and more in love with you as I had as many. I'm not very good at reading either. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, I fall more and more in love with you as I watch you be an amazing partner, daughter, sister, and mother. Even though we have had many firsts as a couple, I am excited to share many firsts with you in this marriage. Jalen, you are the most beautiful person I've ever seen, both inside and outside. I promise you to be yours forever. Place Caitlin's ring on her hand and repeat after me. Caitlin, I give you this ring. Caitlin, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. All that I have. I love and honor you. I love and honor you. Caitlin, place Devin, Devin's ring in his hand and repeat after me. Devin, Devin, I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I love and honor you. I will love and honor you. Well, by the power of the Holy Spirit and all of God's people here, we pronounce you, Caitlin and Devin, husband and wife. <laughs> Devin, you can kiss my sister. <laughs>
I live a lifetime every moment when I'm holding you close. Lay your head down on my shoulder, honey. I won't ever let go because you pulled me like a magnet. Now I'm right where I belong. I'm gonna love you the same for the rest of my days and on and on and on. Cause as long as we keep dancing, we'll stay young at heart. And every time I hold you in my arms, you give me deja vu. Like I've been waiting my whole life to find that you. Cause when I'm looking at your eyes, I go from California to Timbuktu, back to dancing in the living room. If I got you, baby, every day's a honeymoon. Oh, it's a honeymoon. Baby, every day's a honeymoon. I wanna spend some time in Paris, serenade you on the beach. We'll take a picture for our parents, but we're never gonna leave. Nobody knows you like I know you. Nobody loves you like I do. And if I'm never a star, but I got my guitar, I'll be singing songs to you. 'Cause as long as we keep dancing, we'll stay young at heart. And every time I hold you in my arms, you give me deja vu. Like I've been waiting my whole life. You. 'Cause when I'm looking at your eyes, I go from California to Timbuktu, back to dancing in the living room. If I got you, baby, every day's a honeymoon. Oh, it's a honeymoon. Baby, every day's a honeymoon. City. Maybe we'll end up out in LA. Maybe we'll decide to stay right here forever after. I will love you all the same. You give me deja vu.